You know, it's easy to find and check your anodes down there below your cavitation plate on these outboard motors. But one of the things that a lot of people miss is the anodes that are screwed into the engine block on your water jacket. And that can corrode over the years and get you in trouble if you don't know about them and you don't take a look at them. This is a little 25 horsepower F25 Yamaha, but Mercury, all of them have them. It's just a matter of knowing where to find them and locate them and pull them out and check them. So let's take a look at this little Yamaha and I'll show you an easy way to check them and an easy way to identify them. And this is a 2013. They're all about the same though to be honest. This one has all three of them and has three of them and they're all on the same side. They're right there. You can see I've got the top one on the right hand side there already pulled out and we'll take a look at it here in a second. On this engine I removed the ignition coil just to make it a little easier. You can see there's just two screws there that pull out and I moved it over about what an inch just to make it easier to access that with my ratchet. And I said there was an easy way to distinguish them from other nuts and bolts and stuff on the engine and there is. It's the color of them. The uh, shiny silver looking color as opposed to just the kind of grayish looking color of these other things. And you'll notice that the anodes are all that same color. This is the one right next to the oil filter. And then here's the other two. I said there was three on this engine. They're all on this side. And here's the other one. Same color though. Looks, ex In fact, they're all identical. You can interchange them. And the top one you can see I pulled out. And lastly, let's take a look at what they actually look like when they're out. And there it is sitting on top there. You can see there's a little O-ring on that thing. I didn't change it. I didn't see any need to. Uh, you can if you want to. I don't know if you can buy just the O-ring or they want to sell you the whole anode. I'm not sure. This anode was in good shape though. I didn't I didn't do anything to it but screw it back in, tighten it back up. The uh, I, I flush the engine every time I come in with it. Well, except when I'm in fresh water, naturally. But uh, nonetheless, uh, it was in good shape, so I just put it all back together and went fishing. So I hope this helps if you're looking for your anodes. Till next time, adios.